hello everyone as we know that the types of dosage form solid dosage form liquid dosage form and semi solid dosage form particularly the example of semi solid dosage form these are cream paste gel jellies and ointment in this video we will study of the few information about the ointment the definition of the ointment the ointments are homogeneous translucent viscous semi solid preparation most commonly a greasy thick oil means oil 80% water 20% intended for the external application to the skin or the mucous membrane okay means the ointments are the homogeneous translucent viscous semi solid preparation which is useful for the topically application over the skin surface okay this is the definition of the ointment also the definition cover the property of the ointment means it is a homogeneous translucent viscous and semi solid these are the properties of the ointment also the greasy and viscous preparation contains the dissolve or disperse medicament these properties of the ointment or greasy or viscous preparation contains the medicaments but medicaments are either dissolve form or an in dispersed form the use of ointment first one the emollient occlusive and application of the active ingredient to the skin emollient means softening to the skin after application of the ointment skin becomes soft this property is known as the emollient next the occlusive occlusive means it is a film or substance impermeable film or substance uh, which cover the skin directly or indirectly for example transdermal patches or devices or tape or wound dressing this property means occlusive then application of the active ingredient to the skin next the classification of ointment first classification is on the basis of the penetration and second classification on the basis of the therapeutic use out of this first one on the basis of the penetration this classification this class again subdivided into the three main three classes first class is a epidermic ointment second endodermic ointment and third the diadermic ointment the epidermic ointment the name itself indicate the meaning of this particular class epidermic means outermost layer of the skin means these ointment produce their action on the surface of the skin okay on the surface of the skin means it is epidermic ointment means and they produce the local effect but not absorb second endodermic ointment these medicament or ointment release the medicament that penetrate into the skin endo means inside skin or derma means skin inside the skin so these medicament or these ointments release the medicament inside the skin they are partially absorbed here and act as a emollient and third one diadermic ointment this ointment release the medicament that pass through the skin and produce the systemic effect this is diadermic ointment here the medicament that pass through the skin and produce the effect next class on the basis of therapeutic use first antibiotic ointment for example bacitracin second antifungal ointment for example benzoic acid <coughs> third anti inflammatory ointment for example fluoxetine acetonide antiprotic ointment for example benzocaine antiprotic means uh, these drugs which uh, relieves the itching these drugs which relieves the itching call it as the antiprotic next counter irritant ointment 
for example methyl salicylate and last is a anti dandruff ointment for example the salicylic acid these are the two classes on the basis of the penetration and basis of the therapeutic uses next the ointment base ointment base these are the act as a just vehicle for the medicinal ointment it may be used for their physical effect and these ointments are of four type first one oleaginous bases or hydrocarbon base absorption base third water removable or emulsion base or water miscible base means in this type the OYW emulsion is formed means oil in water emulsion type means water easily removed from the skin and last one is a water soluble basis or it is greaseless because high water content or water soluble basis so therefore it is removed from the skin or it is less viscous or you can say it is greaseless next the method of preparation of ointment there are four types of four methods of the preparation of the ointment first one is a incorporation method or trituration method second method is a fusion fusion method third chemical reaction related method and fourth emulsification method we go for first method trituration method or incorporation method <coughs> in this method size reduction takes place means whatever the powder material is there it passes from the sieves in particular the mesh number 250 or 180 number and it go for the size reduction process after the size reduction process the lavigation process is start lavigation process actually this process is a uh, with the small amount of the water to make a paste but here instead of the water we use a small quantity or small amount of the base for the lavigation process and mix it with the base after that the trituration or spatulation process is start then add the remaining quantity of the base to produce the final wet and produce the homogenization homogenization is achieved and lastly if once the homogenization is occur achieved then it fills into the container this is the method of the trituration or spatulation method for ointment the example of this method is the whitfield ointment i revise again firstly size reduction method is takes place then lavigation lavigation with the small quantity of the base this base mixed with together and again trituration is occur trituration takes place or spatulation is occur then next uh, add small quantity again remaining quantity of the base add to produce a final wet again this produce the homogenization homogeneous mass is produce once the homogenization mass is produced then it is filled into the container this is a trituration next method is the fusion method grate the waxy base and melt using the water bath grate the waxy base means some the ointment base contain the number of solid ingredient like white beeswax cetyl alcohol steril alcohol and hard paraffin so therefore these waxy base grate first melt using this water bath melt using this water bath again the dissolve the oil soluble drug once the dissolved oil soluble drug under the specific temperature then cool under the con continuous stirring cool under the continuous stirring means temperature will becomes cools down next <coughs> once temperature become cools down the soft mass is produced soft mass produced at the specific temperature or 40 degree around 40 degree temperature soft mass is produced so therefore the homogenization or homogeneous mass is produced once the homogeneous mass is produced this mass is filled into the container this is a fusion method means here grate the waxy base first melt using the water bath at specific temperature but here don't uh, do the excess temperature don't do the excess heat because there are some heat level substances are there volatile substances are there 
okay so therefore don't use excess heat then dissolve oil soluble drug then cooling under the stirring means once temperature is cooled down the stirring takes place the soft mass is produced at the temperature as temperature decreases once the temperature decreases the homogeneous mass is produced once the homogeneous mass is produced then this mass is filled into the container this is a fusion method next method is the chemical reaction related method these methods are again categorized into two parts the ointment containing free iodine and second the ointment containing the combined iodine in that first the ointment containing free iodine the iodine is slightly soluble in most of the fat and oil but very readily soluble in concentration concentrated aqueous solution of the potassium iodide due to formation of molecular complex iodine this i2 this readily soluble in aqueous solution of potassium iodide means ki the product is formed ki3 this ki3 is a complex formation molecular complex formation then next these polyiodide complex are readily soluble in water alcohol and glycerin polyiodide complex means it is ki3 these are readily soluble in water alcohol and glycerin for example strong iodine ointment and these used to treat the ringworm in cattle this type of ointment used on the human for counter irritant but they were not popular because they remain stain on the skin that is deep red color okay this type of ointment used for human for counter irritant counter irritant but they were not popular because they remain stain on the skin that is red deep color in the next cl uh, class the ointment containing the combined iodine the fixed oil and many vegetables and animal fat absorb iodine which combines with double bond of the unsaturated constituent combines with the <coughs> double bond of the unsaturated constituent fixed oil or many vegetables and animal fats means oleic acid okay oleic acid combined with the iodine means here the iodine it forms unsaturated constituent means diiodosteric acid okay means here the free iodine is not available these iodines these ointments are dark greenish black in color so it leaves no stain on skin when it is rubbed so it is known as a non staining iodine ointment okay i repeat again here since free iodine is not available these iodine these ointments are dark greenish black in color and it leaves no stain on the skin when it is rubbed so it is known as the non staining iodine ointment for example non staining iodine ointment this is the chemical reaction related method here the free iodine takes place and here the combined iodine takes place here the free free iodine is takes place but this free iodine is a uh, uh, not popular use because it remains the stain but here the free iodine is not available and it leaves no stain on the skin when it is rubbed example non staining iodine ointment next method is emulsification method the fats oil and waxes are melted on the water bath at 70 degree temperature as we know that the first step is the waxing material is melted first at specific temperature means 70 degree celsius in another beaker take water soluble ingredient means here aqueous phase with water and heat at same temperature again at the same temperature this aqueous material is a melt heat okay and last aqueous solution means these aqueous solutions are slowly added in a above melted mass with continuous stirring until product will cool down these form the ointment by emulsification method okay these are the preparation method of this ointment hope you understand this uh, preparation method or ointment related information thank you thank you for watching